Hello, beautiful black people. I hope all is well in your world. And this day was a very, very successful day for you and all of your wonderful, wonderful black loved ones. <clears throat> to them. To them. And the operative word is them. And them refers to racist white folks. To them, black lives does not matter. To the those white racist Republican politicians, especially in the U.S. Congress and in the U.S. Senate, in the state houses of Wisconsin, in the state houses of Ohio, in the state houses of Michigan, in the state houses of Florida, etc., etc. To Trump, black lives does not matter. Hence, is why he consistently emphasized law and order, taking a page out of George Wallace's book of 1968-1967. Black Lives Does Not Matter to the KKK infiltrated, owned O-W-N-E-D. Local police chapters of the KKK slash local police chapters of the Fraternal Order of Police, the FOP. They are synonymous with the KKK. These union presidents of the FOP are equivalent to the Grand Dragons of the KKK. In 1936, the Grand Dragon of the KKK uh, in the state of North Carolina stated that someday all police enforcement agencies would be loaded with KKK members, KKK believers, KKK supporters. And that prediction has come to fruition in June, late June of the year 2020, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. Every branch of the FOP is in disguise a chapter of the KKK. That racist white boy, Mitch McConnell, does not care about the lives of black folks. Did you notice the empty so-called police reform bill that they tried to bring to the floor of the Senate a few days ago and the Democratic senators rightfully blocked it the Republican police reform bill is empty. All it has in it is a desire to do some studies, a desire to do some research, a de desire to collect more data. 
it is void of any police reform, retraining, re-education, police firing. It says nothing about banding chokeholds and eradicating qualified police immunity. Two of the things that have to be reckoned with, that have to be eliminated. Tim Scott, the ultimate coon in the U.S. Senate. To that coon, black lives does not matter. He was picked, chosen, just like a step and fetch it to get out front with 20 racist white boys standing behind him and profess that this fake-ass police reform bill had some meaning to it. And he also professed that racism is non-existent right here on this plantation called America. Black lives does not matter to the Freedom Party in the U.S. Congress. It is loaded with the Matt Gates, the Jim Jordans, and the Kevin McCarthy's, all pure racist white boys to the core. Black lives does not matter to that gang of traitors and criminals called the Republican Party. Black lives does not matter to the governor of New York State. Otherwise, he would have fired, terminated. He would have eliminated the most recent incident of white cops using chokeholds on unarmed black folks. He did nothing. Black lives does not matter to the mayor of New York City. The mayor of New York City is terrified of the Fraternal Order of Police. That branch of the KKK in New York City has brought fear, intimidation, and control to the mayor and many politicians, white politicians, in the New York City government and also in New York State government. Black lives does not matter to the mayor of Aurora, Colorado. He has done nothing regarding the public lynching, the murder of Elijah McClain, a 21-year-old black man that was accosted by three racist white cops, put in a chokehold, and then given some medication that caused him to have a heart attack. The medication was administered to him by one of the racist white cops that accosted him. Black lives does not matter to the mayor of Aurora, Colorado. Black lives does not matter to the mayor of Tacoma, Washington. The young 31-year-old black man that was put in a chokehold by racist white cops in Tacoma, Washington, died while dream while screaming I cannot breathe. Black lies does not matter 
to the mayor of Tacoma, Washington. Black lives does not matter to the governor of Ohio. Otherwise, he would have revisited the case of 12-year-old Tamir Rice that was murdered, publicly lynched by a racist white cop. Black lives does not matter to the governor of Texas. Otherwise, he would have not opened up the state to enhance the spread of COVID-19. And now COVID-19 is killing more black folks, especially in Harris County, specifically in the Houston, Texas area. 70% of the folks that are in the ICUs are black folks suffering from the COVID-19 disease. People that look like me. Black lives does not matter to the governor of Texas. To the grand dragons of each police union, because each police union is a branch of the KKK. Black lives does not matter to the Grand Dragons of the FOP. The president of each FOP is, in the skies, a Grand Dragon of the KKK. Black lives does not matter to the governor of Georgia. He has done nothing regarding the murder of Rayshard Brooks. He has done nothing regarding police reform. He has done nothing regarding the purging of black folks from the voting rolls. Black lives does not matter to the governor of Georgia. Black lives does not matter to the governor of Florida. His name is Ron DeSantis. He has consistently tried to dispel and discredit Black Lives Matter. He has referred to black folks as monkeys. Black lives does not matter to the governor of Florida. Black lives does not matter to Bill Barr, the attorney general of the DOJ. When asked about police brutality, Racist Bill Barr immediately turned to an old trope, an old defense that racist white folks will use regarding black on black crime, saying nothing about white on white crime. All crime is intraracial. Therefore, White folks are killed, murdered by other white folks. Black folks are murdered by other black folks. Asian folks are murdered by other Asian folks. Latinos are murdered by other Latinos. All crime is interracial. But Bill Barr, the racist, Communist leaning Bill Barr use black on black crime to defend police brutality, to push forward 
chokeholds and qualified immunity and to try to convince the rest of us that there's no systemic racism within policing right here on this plantation called America. Black lives does not matter to 70% of white folks. 70% of white folks will vote for Trump in the coming election in November of this year. 70% of white folks will remain silent, saying nothing regarding public lynching of unarmed black folks, publicly murdering unarmed black folks. Black lives does not matter to 70% of white folks. Black lives does not matter to the local white racist prosecutors. Black lives does not matter to the local politicians, white politicians. Black lives does not matter to the white county commissioners. Black lives does not matter to the white county coroners. See how the racist white county coroner in Minneapolis, Minnesota, tried to suggest that the knee on the neck suffocating George Floyd did not cause his death. You see how the coroner in Aurora, Colorado, have stated that the chokehold, the suffocation of Elijah McLean had nothing to do with his death. Black lives does not matter to these white county coroners. Black lives does not matter to these local racist white judges. Black lives does not matter to these white racist federal judges. Black lives does not matter to the FBI. You see how they went in and tried to create a scenario regarding NASCAR, now trying to suggest that Bubba Wallace created the hanging noose situation on his own, trying to blame him for the entire hanging noose situation, trying to discredit him, trying to discredit him, trying to suggest that it was all his fault. Just as when black unarmed unarmed black folks are murdered by racist white cops. The county coroner, the white prosecutors, the white politicians, the white mayors will coalesce and try to blame the dead black victim for their own death. Black lives does not matter to 70% of white folks right here on this plantation called America. That's what I have on this one. Please go to the thrasherway.libsyn.com and remember, remember this, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters, remember this. Never forget this. And that is, when we black folks share our thoughts, when black folks share their thoughts, 
white folks, racist white folks, will dismiss us when black folks express their frustrations. Racy, racist white folks will discredit us when black folks like me, like you, protest, then racist white folks will demonize us. And finally, after racist white folks have demonized black folks for protesting, they, racist white folks, become self-righteous. They become thoroughly self-righteous. And then they move on and they try to destroy us. They try to eliminate us. They try to destroy us, my beautiful, intelligent black brothers and sisters. Talk to you again on another one real soon.